what is happening people welcome back to another video so in this video we're going to go over arrival the pros and cons that's gone through and we're going to show all the videos including the new arrival car uh, in this video so if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button and uh, let's get into it Okay, so any of the figures or things I'm showing you in this video, I can be wrong. It's not financial advice, so do your own research, but this is just what I'm seeing and how I'm interpreting things. So uh, just to have a quick look at the actual charts, um, basically Arrival was trading at around $18 before Q3, uh, and then they released Q3, and we're now trading down in $12 to $13 range. So, in my opinion, an opportunity to buy the dip, uh, but that is not financial advice. Uh, basically, this is mostly relating to, in my opinion, as we're seeing this video in a second, um, around the uh, news that they are delaying the start of production, which to me seemed pretty obvious that that was going to happen, judging by the climate at the moment, struggling to get parts, the whole COVID thing, knocking things back. So, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at the video. Wicked. Okay, peeps, so we're going to have a little look at this webcast. We're not going to go through the whole thing. It's 45 minutes long. I'm cutting it down to the key bits. We're just going to go over, discuss, and, yeah, basically see what's happened in Q3 that's caused the drop and what we've got to look forward to as far as the roadmap over the next, say, 12 months. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Thank you, Mitesh, and thanks to everyone for joining us today. We are on a mission to replace all vehicles to electric. I would like to use this opportunity to remind everyone Arrival is unique. It is not an automotive Arrival business. Is unique. It is a platform technology business. We have invested in enabling technologies, software, components, materials, robotics, and micro factories that provide a strong competitive advantages for us. We are doing things that have never been done before and expect our powerful technologies will change the fundamentals of automotive industry. These transformative technologies are coming together in our first micro factories, and we like what we see. Our first bus to be used for validation has been completed, which is an important milestone for the company, and I can share it is a remarkable product. We have hosted a number of events. They're going to show us clips of this bus in a minute. Um, yeah, basically, they've, they've got that first uh, bus produced, which I believe is out the American factory. Um, so yeah, we, anyway, we'll get into that. So. Around the world, where customers were able to experience our van firsthand. The car is progressing well, and its exterior is developed to the level where we are happy to share it today. Start of production for the bus and the van are unchanged. We are currently developing five vehicle platforms. So we've got the different van, products bus, here. Bus so they, they're products, showing us now the, the new car like they've been working on with Uber in those pictures. Um, and yeah, the bus and the van. The, like I said, the platform that they're making these vehicles on would be the platform that they use uh, However, for multiple different I'm types of vehicles. I know the bus is obviously slightly different, but the, um, the car will be on like a smaller the van platform, I would have thought. Um, they're the going into this bit here, deployed. Just uh, I'm just sort of talking over this bit because uh, it'd be a bit boring. But basically they, they plan to, dependent on capital and how things roll out, obviously do tens or if not hundreds of micro factories, which micro factories will be local to where the customer demand is um, around the world. So at the moment, we've got three factories currently being produced. There's two in America. One's going to do the buses, one's going to do the vans, and then one in the UK that's going to do vans as well. So, Thanks, Dennis. yeah, let's get back on the video. In Q3, our teams have been working tirelessly towards our product and micro factory launch dates. Alongside this, we have also been executing in other vital areas of our business as we ramp to first production. As we progress to launch, we wanted to update the market on changes to our 2022 forecasts. John and Mike will go into the details, but the main message... Okay, so basically here, I've run some numbers on these figures if it interests you, to give you an idea of what's what. 
Um, the best I can find is that the vans will be priced around £34,000, which is about $45,000. Uh, and basically, as you can see from this middle chart here, the buses account for about 12% of the orders and the vans are 88%, with majority of it, like nearly 90% of it going to America and Europe, which is obviously where they have the first factories. This 64,000 uh, orders um, is not guaranteed, um, so thus it says not binding. Uh, so basically, the there are orders from people like UPS that have said we'll order 10,000 vehicles, but they're under no obligation under a contract or anything to actually... Um, purchase those vehicles but they've they basically showed an interest uh to purchase the vehicles so we know they're working very closely so i'd be surprised if they pulled out at this point because they've obviously invested a lot of time into getting the product for uh for themselves like an item that they want so uh, to go to another another manufacturer they'd have to start that whole process again and put a delay on it um so providing a rival can get get manufacturing uh up and started and get those production vehicles off the line then i don't see that order wouldn't go ahead so um yeah basically my figures i've run on that sixty four thousand, based on it being forty five thousand dollars per vehicle um i've done that because we're looking at the market cap in dollars that basically uh at sixty four thousand uh, uh vehicles at $45,000, sorry, I lost my way there, um, it's about $2.9 billion uh, in pre-orders. Uh, obviously, again, I will stress, they are non-binding, so it's not guaranteed. But um, that's what that would equate to at the moment, which I think is quite interesting because we're pre-production and, uh, yeah, you know, they've managed to secure that many orders already. So when these start coming off the production line, I'm sure there'll be many more orders coming to them. Uh, and I think, again, none of the figures I'm quoting in this are necessarily true, but I think I'm right in saying each micro factory, which will be the vans probably more than the buses, I would imagine, is aiming to, when it's scaled to full production, get something around 10,000 uh, vehicles a year coming out of each micro factory. So just gives you an idea of what they we could um, they could do in revenue as we prepare for launch and today i'm pleased to give you a first look at our all new bus from the wraparound screens inside and out to the use of ambient lighting reconfigurable seating and the ease of maintenance to name it so here's the new bus we with the lcd the screen and we've got this disability bit here I've, I've noticed how like low it is it's almost like to me that it looks like it's curve height that you could have like people components. getting in and out off the curve but I, I could be wrong and, all and there through the cloud then if you saw that meetings. there was a clip we of the uh, the sort of fiber material then using for the body panels so that's going to be fully recyclable so i'm guessing any of that that comes in damaged or deformed or wrong they could mash it up and remake it into uh into a new one and then there, the Uber vehicle. So they're showing us all this. This is just a quarterly update. So if you don't watch this sort of stuff, um, I suggest you do on any of your investments that you're into or any investments you want to follow uh, and potentially want to get into. Watch these webcasts, man. Watch, read the uh, quarterly earnings. With, there's something on the quarterly earnings PDF that they put out by the UK that I want to show you um, as far as when production starting that we'll look at in, a, in a, just a moment. We also announced the Arrival Service Network Program using our in-house digital service platform, which trains and certifies technicians to service our vehicles. The service platform uses data from Arrival's vehicles and proprietary algorithms to enable existing service providers to repair and maintain our electric vans and buses. We have recently announced eight partners in the US and Europe who have... So here they're showing, that again, pre-production, they've managed to get partnership with these eight companies to help maintain their vehicles when they're out there on the road. So even such brands as QuickFit for us in the UK uh, will be able to look after and maintain their vehicle. Now, I don't know if you saw that on that vehicle, but basically um, they had a number 15 on there. So they've obviously got a few of these now. Um, out and about for promotion and for testing um, but we're, we'll catch back into that in a bit new method in the whole industry we have focused on developing enabling technologies components platforms materials microfactories, software and robotics 
and we utilize these technologies in all of our products. I think this is them having a chance to show off that, you know, they've got quite advanced robotics and they're not exactly for a new company starting with a very um, uh, manual labor force, you know, and using humans and stuff. They're going straight in for robotics and trying to get it right from the start to make as much of a sort of production line automated as possible. I think it's something they've really pushed on um, right from the outset, really, having these micro factories, mo mostly robotic, very universal as we well so the robotics don't just do one set task from my understanding they're going to have them do multiple different um, things just for the same robot so yeah quite interesting thanks avinash i want to begin by reiterating that we continue to expect starter production for the bus in q2 of 2022 and starter production for the van in q3 of 2022 this slide shows our upcoming program milestones and the milestones. So here, um, I'll actually show you it on here because this is what I wanted to show you um, from the actual PDF. They put it in a nice little table for us. But effectively, the bus has got the trial bus production, which is currently going on in Q4, which we're in now, the Proving Grounds trial and the Rock Hill equipment. So Rock Hill is one of the micro factories in America. Um, so they're installing uh, equipment into that throughout this quarter. Going into Q1, they hope to get certification and public road trials. And then going into Q2, SOP, start of production for the bus uh, in the America Micro Factory um, in Q2. In Q3, we can see the Bychester, which is actually the UK uh, van factory, um, hopes to start in Q3. With all of this, I, I, I would take these as, as vague, like there's so many things going on in the world right now that anything could slow this down and push it back even further, which is what has already happened, and I'm fully prepared that that could happen again. But they're stressing on the point that they could get to um, profit, uh, profitability, get to producing revenue on the second half of 2022. So we're we're not even 12 months away now from starting to see this company begin revenue, and it will be tiny. You know they've got to scale the uh, factory up, which will take a, a while um, to get it into full production. But um, yeah, out of Bychester, we can expect at full capacity to be running uh, 10,000 vehicles per year. Uh, and they also have another van uh, micro factory uh, planned in America, or say planned, that I think comes online in Q4 2022 uh, is when they potentially want to start production from that. So yeah, they've got three potential factories in the work at the moment. You've got a... Uh, a rollout plan for the bus and both the van there um, so all things being well with these sort of forecasts here um, then yeah we, we see revenue in Q3 starting with it scaling up in Q4 onwards um, next year so yeah Those remain unchanged from when we presented them in our Q2 they complete by the end of the year since here, here's the uh, thing so this is the Rock Hill bus factory which is going to be the first one to to start production um in q2 start production q3 in the uk which is by chester which is going to be a van factory and then in q4 we got start production thing so they're really off the bat starting with three factories um all rolling out you know within three quarters of each other there may be delays there may be problems getting the machines up and running but um yeah we've we're not all that far out now from when we've started looking at this company you know it's within sort of four quarters now we've got uh all of these to potentially come online so so yeah i'm not going to go through much more of the webcast uh, by all means just type in arrival investor relations and check out the whole whole thing you've got a q a at the end and you've got more financials following on from from this guy but it gives you an idea of um uh of where you can get more information basically about um looking into companies and stuff looking at their their actual earnings uh each quarter and what they send out to investors so yeah this is 
as you guys well know that check on my portfolio updates this is a tiny position for me but i do really like it because it's a uk based company they're still young they started in 2015 but they've got a few things that excite me which is the vertical integration which means they're going to be basically doing as much as they can in-house um they've got um yeah the fact they're a uk company and the fact they're going after they're not a competitor to tesla in my eyes they're going after the more niche things so they're working directly with uber directly with ups to basically make the product tailored to their use case as much as possible it would be the equivalent of like someone that makes say dust cart lorries or ambulances or police cars you know sort of tailoring it in to the equipment to be specific for the use case they're able to do that because they're doing micro factories instead of one big production line they're going to have loads of little production lines with robots that can do multiple different things and their sort of modular design with their chassis and their batteries and stuff like that and by the looks of it their technology with making these body panels seems quite interesting um so yeah it's worth keeping an eye on um there would be many more videos to follow on it, but just wanted to basically do an update because it does feel like coming down from $18 to $12, $13 range is like if you were interested in starting buying this one would probably be a good time around now. So yeah, I hope that video is helpful for you. There's way more content on the way. Uh, so if you haven't already and you have made it this far, help me out and hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.